purpose of this video is to explain and differentiate between regional wealth and your personal treasury. Regional wealth is indicated here on the left side of the bar, your treasury is here on the right. Regional wealth is needed to import goods, which may be important if your starting region lacks particular resources and you can also use it to import livestock. You need it to buy several of your burgage plot extensions and to upgrade your burgage plots to level 3. Some other buildings, such as the herb garden and the deep mine, also require regional wealth. It can be increased by selling surplus goods and livestock at the trading post or by upgrading your burgage plots to level 2 and 3, which passively give you a small amount of regional wealth. Your treasury is required for military purposes. You can use it to hire mercenaries, which need to be paid each month unless you dismiss them. Recruit retinue from the military panel, which is a one-off cost of 50 gold per retinue, which does not recur each month. You need treasury funds to build a settler's camp and start settling in a new region. You produce money for the treasury by setting a tax level in the manor house of a region, if you have built one. This must be set to a multiple of 10. Be aware that any tax level will negatively affect villager happiness and therefore the population growth of the region may be slower. The specified percentage of regional wealth will be transferred to the treasury at the end of each month. If you have bandit camps on in the settings when you first set up the game, dispersing one will provide some money and you can choose whether this goes to regional wealth or your treasury. Treasury cannot be transferred to regional wealth in any way, kind of like government in real life. I hope you enjoyed the video or it has been useful to you in some way. I also stream on Twitch, so the link to that is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.